the Hooked on Needles Craft Cast. My name is Maricela or Mari if you prefer. Today is September 10th, 2019, and this is episode 43. I hope you are all doing well. It was a long month for me. Um, my kids got sick, then I got sick, and I was sick most of the month. So I didn't really have the energy. Um or want honestly to knit so i spent a long time without knitting i just was like i don't feel like doing anything so i don't have too much finished things finished stuff to show you guys but um i will show you what i have um jump in to finished objects um I was able to finish another pair of the Rose City Rollers for my sister. So now I have two pairs done. There was quite a bit of uh, color difference in them. This one was knit from the inside of the ball and this one was from the outside thread. And so this one's a lot brighter. But that is okay. Um, I don't have the label of the yarn. Oops, sorry. Of the yarn that I used. But I do have another skein of it. It's not the same one. But it was this May May Fibers. Um, so this one's mine. And then this is what was left of the one that I used. So I should have enough to make her another pair if not then i will combine it combine it with something else um and then like i said i didn't really want to knit um and when i'm kind of in a slump of projects that i don't really know what to do i like to make i mean groomies so um i went on to make a paper boat uh channel her channel and I don't know her name, but her channel is Make a Paper Boat. And she has this tutorial for this tiny little penguin. And I think it is adorable. Um, in her video, she uses two strands of yarn. So hers is much bigger, but I just used one. And... I think it's adorable. I love it. So he's going to be our little display guy when winter is here. And then, because I still didn't know what to do, <laughs> I found um, someone mentioned this blog. And so I went on, check it out. It's called One Dog Wolf. Wolf. Sorry, not wolf, wolf. And I'll put a link down below. But she had this this little uh, blog post on how to make little backpacks. So I made two. Uh, one's for my daughter, one's for my son. This one doesn't have the little keychain yet. So, yeah. But I made two of those. And that is it. That's all I made. Um, oh, that's not true. I also sewed a couple things. Um, I've only done this one other time, so I wanted to um, do it again and see if maybe I was better. I'm not. Um, I tried my hand at putting a zippered pocket onto some bags. I mean, it works, but it's not the prettiest thing. You know, my finishing could have been a lot better. I did put on the zipper foot and everything thinking that I was going to try and get close, as close as I could to the zipper, but I just failed miserably. And then I was getting quite upset because my sides are still not lining up great. Like one side will line up better than the other. And I... I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Um, 
because I'm using my little lines, my guides on the, on the sewing machine. So I don't know why they're not lining up. That one's like a big difference. And this one I made Japanese knot bag style, I guess. Um, I had seen a tutorial, I had watched a tutorial on how to do this a long time ago, but I couldn't find the, the video again. Um, so I don't know if you want to do something like it, I guess Japanese knot bag would be the closest thing you could look up on there. Um, but I do like the colors. I think it is a lovely bag. And then I made another one and this one's got different handles and a snap to close and I also did the zipper. I was hoping one of them would look really nice but you know they both came out not so nice. <laughs> and um, these side um, seams do line up a little bit better than the other one. not this this one's not as horrible and like i said i don't know why it's not lining up i do my best to cut the fabric correctly and to line up everything and it's just frustrating but my daughter snapped me out of it because i was like i was making them and then i didn't touch them because i was like it's just not working I was having my own little pity party and then she was like my 16 or 15 year old she'll be 16 soon um she was like just snap out of it you're not a professional you're learning get a grip and move on and I was like okay I will so <laughs> thanks to her I was able to just move on and she's right get over it it's it's still a functioning bag so that's what matters um, okay, now that's all I have to show you. Um, I am working on stuff. Um, not a lot. I have these socks cast on. Um, and these are just plain vanilla socks. I did finish one of them. Sorry, something's in my eye. Um, I did finish this one. Ends are woven in and everything. I love this color. And I wanted to tell you, uh, I was hoping to make these into my business casual socks. And I did start them. Uh, during the summer, I did try. Uh, I cast them on and tried out the pattern. But because there's black in the stripes, the pattern itself is getting really lost and I did not like the way it looked. So I ripped them out and decided to just um, knit them up as vanilla socks. So um, yeah, and so I did this one. And usually I work them two at a time, but I wanted to do something different. And so, um, when I do that, I will use one end from the outside of the ball and one end from the inside of the ball. But then they end up with the coloring being opposite, right? So one will start here, go up this way, the other one will go this way. So I wanted to change it up. And so now they'll both have the same, um, the pattern will be going the same way. Uh, but they're not going to be exact match because this one starts with the pink and this one starts with the black. So that's okay. And I don't make my cuff very long at all. So I'm actually ready to start the heel flap here. Um, and I just haven't. I was not, I didn't do a lot of knitting this weekend. I was just with the family, which was really nice. So it's okay. Um, but then, um, my friend came over, my knitting friend came over and, uh, while we were having some breakfast, she was like, Hey, so I've been thinking about 
that sweater you've been talking about making? And I was like, yeah. She's like, um, do you think you would want to make, make it at the same time? Like we knit it like a little knit along between the two of us. And I was like, oh, sure, but oh, I'm not sure if I'm ready to start or whatever. And she's like, well, do you have the yarn? And I was like, yeah. She's like, do you have the needle? So I was like, yeah. She's like, you have the pattern? I was like, yeah. She's like, then why aren't you doing it? And I was like, I don't know, because I just, you know, I'm missing the want, the want to make it. Um, so anyways she was like okay come on I'm gonna you know get the stuff and so she's like let's do it so she got her yarn she actually did have to wait for her yarn and so we waited for her to get her yarn and we did cast on uh I think she cast on like a day or two before me which you know it's fine um but yeah so I finally cast on my sweater and uh i am down to the ribbing now here it is and this is the cardi campsite campsite cardi i always get them backwards the campsite cardi by alicia Plummer. and i did do a gauge swatch and i'm holding my yarn double um the pattern calls for DK weight and I am using fingering so I'm using it double but it comes out a little bit thicker than um, DK so I am using bigger needles because um, it's bigger yarn uh, and because I want it to be more like cozy less fitted um so yeah it's looking good and you kind of breeze through the pattern um you get these little eyelets and it's really nice um so yeah so I'm down at the ribbing and I did not do exactly as the pattern because I am vertically challenged and therefore I do not need to have things that are super long on me. Um, but yeah, so I am at the ribbing. I still have to do just a few more rows and then mm, pick up for the, um, whatever this is, the, <laughs> the, I don't know, what do you call that part of the sweater? The little ribbing that goes all around so I will be picking up for that and then I gotta knit my sleeves and I'm not sure if I want to do full length sleeves because I roll my sleeves up like these are three quarter three quarter uh sleeves and I still pull them up like I can't have them down so I kind of don't want to knit all of that and then just pull them up so I'm debating whether I will do full length sleeves or three quarter sleeves because I will pull them up anyways um but yeah so um that's it that's all I have for you um I was knitting some socks but I really liked the yarn and decided I want a hat out of it instead of socks so this is the yarn I was using and it is um, Blue Moon Fiber Arts in the Imperial Head Bonbon colorway. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. Sorry. But um, it's a thicker, um, be like a sport maybe. Um, and I was making these, which are the Peacock Socks. um but and they are by alex anders um but yeah so i like the color more to make a hat out of it instead of the socks so yeah the sock pattern is really nice though it's uh a very good repeat like popcorn knitting you know um so i did like it, it was working up really fast 
but then I just kept looking at them and the more I knit, I was like, I really want to make a hat with this. And then finally I was like, it's your yarn, make a hat with it. So I ripped them out. Um, and yeah, so I'm not sure which hat I'm going to make, but I, yeah, I want to make a hat. I actually was thinking possibly the Molly hat. I've made a Molly hat before. But I really like the way it turned out and so maybe but I'm not sure because this one's got more um, more color changes than the one that I used for the Molly hat so I don't know if you'll be able to see the the patterning in there but who knows maybe I will give it a go just because it is such lovely yarn um and then yeah, and now I just have a lot of new yarn to show you. <laughs> um, so two things happened. One is my sister went to Mexico on a trip for a whole month. She was over there and she was enjoying her trip and going all over the place and just having a lot of fun, which I was so happy for her because, you know, you need to live. So. <laughs> Um, she was having fun and um, I have seen this Spanish podcast called Jersey Work and Shop and um, they mentioned uh, one of the there's two it's two girls and one of them owns a yarn shop in Pachuca, Mexico and I have heard of this place. Um, so Pachuca, I believe, is the city, um, where the, the shop is. And so I remember hearing it because my brother lives not too far from there. And so I was like, well, sister, since you're going to Mexico, do you think you could possibly maybe go to this yarn shop and see, um, just check it out? And I asked her really like hoping that she would, but also not putting too much hope into it because um, I didn't know what her trip was going to be like and, you know, what she had planned or didn't want to do or whatever. Like I, I didn't know. So I was just kind of putting it out there just to see if it would happen. And then she's like, oh, um, she's like, I don't know. We'll see. And I was like, okay. So then one morning, she I get a text from her and she's like, what, what's this shop's name and where is it? So I sent her the information or whatever. And um, she goes up there that day and um, she's like, oh yeah, I didn't have anything planned. So we're here. Um, and then she just sends me a picture of her and um, the, the shop owner. And um, I was like, oh my gosh, you made it. And so it turns out that in the place or the location, there's like one other shop really close to her, another yarn shop. So she went into the other yarn shop first, got some stuff, and then went to this other um, where the podcast um, is recorded. And so then she got more stuff there. So she brought me back some stuff um some was um the yarn shop owner sent for sent to me which are these i believe nope that's not those are not it sorry um she sent me some of these which i have not used before i don't think we get these in the u.s and if we do i have not seen them but uh, I have been told that these are good for baby items. So I got two purples and two blues. And the purples are very uh, like lilac and lavender. So nice soft colors for kids items. And then these are the ones she sent. And I have not used these before I feel like I'm missing one I may be missing one but I'm not sure okay 
So she sent me these, which are uh, petunia, and these are 90% cotton and 10% um, angora. And this is not a uh, brand that we get here. Or if we do again, I have not seen it. So there's only one brand that um that I have seen or I have used that I get here in the U.S. All of the rest I have not gotten. Um. So yeah. So those are very nice colors as well. I was actually looking um at patterns this weekend to come to try and come up with stuff to to make with them because they're really really lovely. Um, so I think that's why I didn't do much knitting was because, um, I was busy looking at patterns. <laughs> um, and then she sent me two of these, but they were different. And so my son really liked the other one. So he kind of took that for himself. And, um, yeah, so I, I, I'm not getting that one back. So this is a gauge, uh, for your needles, a needle gauge. It's so cute. And it says... Jersey yarns, estambres is yarn in Spanish. Um, so yeah, and then my sister chose some of this. Um, I'm not sure what she got from the shop from the podcaster and what she got from the other shop. I'm just showing you what she brought back. So she brought this back. Um, this is 5% mohair. 15% wool and 80% acrylic. She brought two of these little cakes, but this yarn is super thin. It's like lace weight yarn. And I have to be honest, I'm a little afraid of it. <laughs> um, I was kind of scared to try it because I was gonna, I, I thought that it might be kind of itchy for me uh to work with so I wasn't sh so sure I wanted to she brought two cakes I did use some of the other one just to see if it was something that I was going to be okay using and it was good so yes and then uh she brought some of these which these I actually can get here this is the um I've actually used this before this is the sim Symphonia, symphony, and so she brought different colors, and I actually had already used this one for um, a little bunny that I had shown you guys. So she brought all of these, all of these are the same brand, and this is 100% cotton. So we will see. And... Um, I had made that little bunny for her niece and so when they her niece went with her um, when she went shopping for these and so since she knew she was bringing it back she goes uh, her niece told her to tell me that there was enough yarn for for me to make a friend for her little bunny over there so I thought that was so sweet I was like okay <laughs> um, and these I really really liked these are like so squishy and I have not used this brand before but look at those colors I don't know what I'm gonna make I actually was thinking about maybe like a cowl just to have like smushiness on on your neck um and this is 53% wool and 47% acrylic but I love this color like it's just really nice and she also brought this. This is a uh, sock yarn and it is 75% wool and 25% polyamide. So I will be making socks for her with this. And she also brought some of this, which is um, Rowan alpaca. And look at this drape, like, do you see that? <laughs> uh, 
Um, so I do want to make something for her with this. And I was also thinking a cowl because it would look nice and drapey just, you know, around. So I need to find a pattern for this, which is why I've been on, I was on Ravelry like all weekend just looking through stuff. <laughs> um to try and, and make her something and um yeah i've worked with alpaca before so i do enjoy it and it is very drapey um so we will see and then um i also really liked these and again this is something i haven't used before and this is the i don't know how you say that alice alize but it's tweed and it's um, cotton. Sorry, guys. Okay, 50% cotton, 40% acrylic, 3% polyester. She got me these three colors, which are really pretty. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but it looks so much fun with all that. Those little bits of color in there. And then um, she brought these two, which I think this one is also drapey. This is uh, it's 100% acrylic, but it feels really soft. So I don't know which way, okay, but can you see it? And uh, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to make with this. <sighs> My sister was calling. And then this is also 100% uh, cotton, but this is such a really, really um nice green color like sea foamy green <laughs> my daughter always makes fun of me oh it's called jade it's really really pretty so we will see what we do with all of that and uh these which these i believe you can get um from hobium this is the carpotu which i actually haven't used yet and it is 51% acrylic, 29% cotton. And um, I, I actually don't use cotton very often to make amigurumis, but I thought maybe I'll give that a go. So we will see. Um, but yeah. And so that is all I got from my Mexico haul when I didn't even go to Mexico. <laughs> okay. And then, um, like, I don't remember when, but we went to visit my niece who lives a little, a little ways from, from me. She lives about an hour and a half away from me. Um, and, uh, I remembered that there was a store where she, over in her area, and my sister had mentioned this store before and um, we had said that we were going to go one day, but then we never had. So uh, while we were visiting my niece, I uh, told my husband, hey, there's a store nearby. Do you mind if we go by? Yeah, it's a yarn shop. And he's like, okay, sure. So we went on a Sunday, I think it was. And when we got there, they were about to close the like the their store hours you know um we had 10 minutes left within their store hours so i was like okay no big i'm just gonna get down and see what i can find and so when i get there i see that they are also going out of business and i was like what because again i had planned to go before and then i just didn't so Anyways, so I ended up going in, finding a couple things. I only got a few things. And I think I got two of these. And um, I got some of these. 
and I think the hat that I showed you before was this type of yarn I'm not sure but um I just completely forgot to show you what I got in that episode so I had gotten these uh got two colors or four colors um the other ones are skeined up and you know put away but um from the last episode that june hat i think was this um i think it was this brand so i got this and that was what i got when i went so then my sister works over in that part of town so I was like, hey, that one yarn shop that you wanted to take me to is closing down. Um, would you mind going by if it's not too far out of your way and see if you can get me some more stuff? Because that day I only had 10 minutes. And she's like, yeah, sure. So we went. Oh, and I think the day that I also went, I got this one, which is Madeline Tosh DK. So um yeah so this is another buy but then so she goes with one of her friends and apparently it was only five minutes away from where she was and i was like this whole time you have been five minutes away from a yarn shop and you never bought me anything <laughs> anyway so she went and she um kind of made up made up for it so when I went, I saw that they had a Brooklyn Tweed yarn. And so then I asked her to please bring some for me. And originally I asked for these two colors. And this is the Arbor base. Um, because I wanted to make something for my husband because he is a Slytherin. But then I saw this one and i couldn't help myself so i was like never mind get me all those three colors and i don't know what i'm gonna make with it but it's no longer just gonna be for my husband um so yeah and that is okay so she got me some of that and then she kind of went crazy <laughs> i asked her to see if there was uh still some madeline tosh left and so she found this one and this is also dk and this is the Harvest colorway. It's like a good limey color. Um, looks really nice with this blue, by the way. And this blue is amazing. Like, it is so pretty. Um, so anyway, so she got me that. And then she just started grabbing stuff. And I was like, no, no, no. You need to put stuff back because I do not need to go <laughs> um but she found this and i've never worked with this this is wool folk and so she got me two skeins from that um this says that there are 173 yards so it's a like a worsted weight of these two and then she got me one of this ball and this too is super wash uh i'm sorry i meant like a worsted weight and this is really nice this is a really nice gray it's called obsidian it's beautiful and then this is um this says it's sock sock weight it's from spud and chloe you see it there okay hold on sorry i don't know if it'll focus on it if i tap it I didn't know I could tap it and it would focus. That's amazing. Okay, no focus on me. Thanks. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, my sister was like, who doesn't want orange socks? And I was like, you're right, who doesn't? So yeah, she got all of that. 
So that was all I got and that is all I have to show you guys this episode. Um, again, I just was, was feeling miserable so I didn't do anything. Um, and yeah, um, I don't really have anything planned besides that hat that I want to make. Um, oh, that's not true. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, I do want to make some hats for my family in Mexico. And I have been debating whether to use actual wool or to, um not you know to use acrylic because um i don't know if if it'll be too much to ask of them to take care of the wool because i feel like it doesn't like it's a weird thing to say you need to take care of it by not taking care of it like um Meaning like you don't need to wash it as often as you think and airing it is enough, you know, uh, so it's just weird to tell people that and for them to be okay with it. So I don't know. I've been debating on what to do. So we'll see. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much it. Um, I do want to make those peacock socks because those were fun like I said popcorn st popcorn stitchy um popcorny stitch like you just it's a good repetition you remember it and you just keep going you know like popcorn you just kind of keep eating it <laughs> um but yeah so uh thanks so much for you guys sharing a little bit of your time with me I appreciate it and I hope you are all doing well um, I'm not sure when I will record again, but until then, see ya.